This is how the Tigers from Toymaker Schleich head for Tunisia. Paul Kraut, who's headed the company for 10 years, sends them there to be painted. He's had some close calls with authorities there. Once a year, the ruling party came by and asked for donations, but we always refused and pointed out that we supported the local help center for the handicapped. Now he's just returned from Tunisia, and everyone in the company wants to know about the situation there. Schleich's German headquarters paints prototypes, which are then copied in Tunisia. Paul Kraut answers workers' questions about the current events there candidly. Hi, I've brought a few snapshots from Tunisia if you want to have a look at them. You know a few of these people. This is a cell phone video made while we were speaking to the workers for the first time. It was very moving. The boss still gets emotional about what happened in Tunisia. The whole visit was the most moving thing I've experienced since my children were born. It was like 1989 when the Berlin Wall fell. You felt the full range of emotions from the people there. Fear, insecurity, hope, joy, freedom, everything at the same time. People cried, they sang and they celebrated. All of it together and right in your face. You can see it with me. I still get goosebumps when I think about how it was. Schleich began sending its animal figures to Tunisia for their paint jobs in the 1980s. Paul Kraut has known the country since his first visit there as a boy. His father came up with the idea to have the work done there. Some of the German staff accompanied Kraut to Tunisia two years ago and still correspond with workers there. We asked if they had been worried. Of course, that was our first reaction. We immediately thought of the women and the other staffers there. What happens next? Will anything happen to the company? We thought of the company and everything. It's all much closer to our hearts since we visited there. Schleich has 1,400 staff in Tunisia, and Paul Kraut met two of them today by chance at the main German plant. They've come to Germany for advanced training. The boss is glad they're doing well. It's great in Tunisia now, better than 20 years ago. <laughs> How are you doing there now? Much better, thank you. All is quiet. Schleich sells about two toy figures per second worldwide, from household pets to fantasy beasts. It also produces them in China. The company has a total annual turnover of around 100 million euros. The head of Schleich's Tunisian operations arrives for a visit. He's reporting on the latest developments in the country. The boss asks how the last few days have been. Good. It's quietened down from two weeks ago. There were some strikes and demonstrations in other companies, but not at ours. The mood is actually pretty positive at the moment. Paul Kraut is glad the people in Tunisia have more say in their lives now. But what that means for the company is still unclear. He asks about trade unions. The union is the biggest danger. It's organized strikes, but no longer has control. Lots of companies still have work stoppages, and some where workers are prevented from entering the company grounds. Security people have been threatened, just because demands are being made that can't be met, some of which are still half-baked. Kraut wants to keep Schleich in Tunisia. He's sure the company will weather the storm. The future has been secured enough for the country to want to revive and move forward, and I think they'll succeed. They can't let political instability hold them back. I believe now, as before, that the Tunisians will find their way. Paul Kraut says he's heading back to Tunisia in the coming days. By then, these tigers should already have their stripes. <laughs>